So to use your symbols handout, I had a capital H here and I find this letter here. It's a capital H and if it has the Webding font, then this is what I'm going to get. If I type a cap a lowercase e, I would look up here and if I use Webding's font for this whole row, if I type an E, I'm going to get a present if I'm on Webding's font. See, I get the present. If I have a lowercase e and I use the Wingding's font, then I'm going to get a different symbol, this one. So what you usually use this for is if you find the one that you want, for example, if I want this funny little wave here, the way that I get it is I just look up to see that I need to have a lowercase h and I need to format it with Wingding's font. And if I do a lowercase h and I select it and put the Wingding's font, then that is what I'm going to get. These characters are or these symbols are just like characters. You can move them around by just moving them here. And you can treat them just like a font. They can have a larger font size or a smaller font size. You can make them a different color. So this chart is just showing you that if you, you can use uppercase, lowercase, you can use numbers and various characters and depending on what font that you use to format them, you can end up with all of these pictures.